So I'm no contact with my family. And the reason that I chose to go no contact with my family is because I'm the scapegoat in a narcissist family system. If you know, you know. If you don't, I guess Google. But when I first went no contact with my parents, I was still talking to my siblings. And I noticed after a while of me being no contact that the way that my siblings were describing my narcissist parent slowly started to change. All of a sudden, they saw him the way I saw him. They were telling me how bad he was and how awful things had gotten in the house. And based on the stories, it, it was bad. Well, today I learned something that made all of that make the fuck sense. Turns out that when you're the scapegoat, the narcissist uses you to keep it all together. You are how they emotionally regulate themselves. By concentrating their negativity on you, it doesn't go flying everywhere and other people can't see it, just you. Which means when you leave, there's no one there to absorb that negativity. And the narc has to find a new scapegoat. And yep, when a scapegoat leaves and there are other children or other people left in the house, they can become the scapegoats. Like that narcissistic person has to find a new person to regulate their emotions with, to blame everything for. And that's typically the purpose of the scapegoat. You get all the bad stuff a lot of the times. So like you, the scapegoat child in a narcissistic family system can pretty much do no good. You will always be chastised and put down and put below, put beneath the golden child. And then when you become a scapegoat, you see the world a little differently. You see how the original scapegoat was treated. And that may or may not change your mind.